How's it going everybody? What I have for you right now is your complete guide on how to get through Destiny 2's Spire of the Watcher. We are going to be going through each encounter. I will have timestamps in the video for each encounter. So without further ado, let's get into it. Upon loading in, you are to walk down a very strict path. Of course, there's nothing too complicated here. I just wanted to show you the Tumbleweed cameo. Love now. <laughs> Yo, is there reskin content? This is a reskin. That was hilarious. We got some cowboy shit for real. Because it's funny and matches the text mechanica theme armor and weapons we'll be getting from this dungeon. Moving on, after the tumbleweed, you are now in the opening encounter. Not the first encounter, because unfortunately you get no loot from this encounter. And here is where you get to know the dungeon's first mechanic. We will be calling this mechanic Yellow Cables because of the Yellow Cables and you'll see why the deviation later in the dungeon. For this yellow cable mechanic, it's all about finding the start point and then following the cable, shooting all of the nodes along the way until you find the end point. The start points for all yellow cables will look like this. Kinda looks like a power box with some blue arrows on it. And to activate them, you will need a buff called Arctician, and you are playing an electrician. To get this buff from here and throughout the rest of the dungeon will be through a void shielded minotaur. Once this minotaur dies, he drops a pool of Vex milk, except this one doesn't kill you. By passing through this pool, you will receive 30 seconds of Artition. And as you daisy chain connect all the little power nodes, this will keep your buff up. And if you're fast enough, it will even make your buff go beyond the 30 seconds. So if you're goaded, you can do the entire encounter just off of one buff. Now for this encounter, the goal is to light up all four of the endpoints located here in the middle of the arena. If you're truly stumped on where each node's start point is, you can simply go to the endpoints in the middle and backtrack the yellow cables up until you get to one of your start points. You can tell that it's the start point by the blue arrows like I noted previously, or by the fact that there is only one cable attached to the node. Once all four nodes are activated, you have officially entered the dungeon. From this point, you will be getting loot for each encounter. Once once you have entered the facility, you will be greeted by a good old jumping puzzle. Hunters, you might want stompies here, for some of these jumps are a real stretch for us. Or just shatter skate the whole area. I didn't do this for my first run, but it definitely looks doable. I will be doing this for my second run. After that, enter this elevator, and you are now at the first encounter. Begin the ascent. You can find the start path by jumping out the window a little bit and going to the right. Here is the same yellow cable mechanic. The encounter flow is to activate each elevator for each floor, being a total of two floors. For this encounter, the minotaur on the opposite side of the two endpoints will start the encounter, meaning ads will spawn in. After killing that minotaur, you and a teammate can now take that buff, shoot the two start points that are located at the Minotaur, and then split off one going left following the yellow cable and the other one going right following their yellow cable. I do want to note, in addition, that if a yellow cable does not turn blue as you go, you missed a node. There is no time limit, you don't need to restart, just find the most recent one that has a blue cable attached and then carry on from there. Very forgiving mechanic. Now for the second floor, it is the exact same. Find the Minotaur, get the buff, follow the yellow cables, and enter the elevator again. Now, you're at your first boss fight. He might look familiar, because he is. It's the same harpy boss from Garden of Salvation. For this mechanic, it's the yellow cable mechanic once again. But all of the start points are located in the middle and all of the end points are located at the ends of each of the catwalks. Once you progress through three of the cables, you want to communicate with your team when you are about to finish the last one. For the last one activated will be where damage starts. And like in Garden of Salvation, the boss will approach and show all of his eyes. Shoot all of the eyes. If you don't shoot all of them in time, he will push you off of the spire. Once all of the eyes are shot, you will see his middle eye turn white, and that is the only place you can damage him. Hunters, I would not recommend using Calling of the Storm or Blade Barrage, for one of them will just bounce off, and the other will miss half of the knives. Run Gold Gun or Tether if you want. Warlocks obviously run well, and Titans, Thunder Crash is nice. But get it off early so you can stay back in the well for more damage. Hunters, if you're not running Tether, I highly recommend the seasonal mod Weakened Clear. That's what we ran, and it was a three phase when we knew what we were doing. I duoed the dungeon, by the way. After that boss, you are told to start the descent because the Vex are about to blow the place up. You start the descent by this vent right under the chest, and just carry on down until you get into this room. This room introduces the second mechanic of the dungeon, the Red Cable. 
cables. Unlike the yellow cables having a steady connection, the red cables are timed. You don't have to daisy chain connect all of them because they are one and done. You just need to find all of them and shoot them in a timely manner before you get booted to orbit. <coughs> I mean, um, before the connection restarts. You have two floors of these with an intermission of the return of the fans from zero hour. And once all that's done, you will enter this room. This one was a little tricky for the exit is not fully obvious once you shoot all four of the red cables, but it's this red corner right here. The door opens when the circuit connects, just drop down. You are now at the boss encounter. Here you are testing the skills of both mechanics, red and yellow cables. To start the encounter, shoot the boss, and you will be greeted by two hydras called incarcerators. These guys are holding the minotaurs you will need for each phase, so get rid of both of them. After that, the minotaurs will spawn for you to kill them and grab their buff, and you use this buff on the red cables in the current room. Shoot all four red cables, and then a power node above the door will open. Shoot that last one and then the doors will open. When these doors open, two start points in the starter room will open as well for you to connect all the way into what we will call the end point room. There will be only one on each side open at a time. Just find them and daisy chain them all the way into the end point room. Once both of those are done, the boss will walk up to the server in the end point room and you are to leave the end point room. Hopefully you have enough time on your buff at this point to close the doors. If not, quickly kill a minotaur. To close the doors, you are to shoot all of the red cables again, along with the one above the door. If you don't close the door fast enough, the boss will just go immune again and you will have to start all over. If you do close the doors, you have now successfully started the damage phase. The doors to the endpoint room will open once more, and you can do damage to the boss from this point. Swords do work on this boss, but linears are still a great option, because at a certain point, the boss will just stop and stare at you while you shoot at him. Now with the boss being a wyvern, it goes without saying that his void blasts do a lot of damage. If you're using swords, lament is a must for the fact that it heals based off hits. Or just use a well. Easy stuff. Once the damage phase ends, it's just rinse and repeat. And there you have it fellas, the complete guide on Destiny 2's Spire of the Watcher. Hopefully you're lucky enough to get the exotic bow hierarchy, because I was not. At least on my first run that is. Here are my plugs, I will be live doing my solo flawless soon, or when the game stops kicking me to orbit. And that's all for me now. Peace.